Hi there. Got a stealth camp today in the woods. Um, I've not done the route in. I've not done the obligatory YouTube um, route in with my cameras placed everywhere. A, because I can't be bothered. And B, because I don't have all those cameras. So basically, I've gone quite deep into the woods because it's windy. Got a bit of um, respite from the wind. I'm intending to um, put up a plash palatka, which is just a quite a small tarp, a uh, canvas one. Uh, first try out today for the uh, Joker Nomad knife and first proper outing for the Alice pack as well. So um, I won't bore you with setting everything up. I'll be back shortly. Mm. So got the plash set up in a plough formation. Um, the wood's pretty wet actually, but um, I've cleared the floor. Uh, move the uh, moss over to the side so I can put it back as it was. That's the fire ready to go. I've already found out one thing about the uh, Joker Nomad. Those poppers keep coming undone constantly. So I've seen that on other reviews actually. Uh, I'll be sorting that out. I'll probably uh, glue them and uh, make it into a dangler. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get the fire sorted out and I'll bring you back then. There we go, got a brew on and a boil in the bag at the same time. Wood's a bit wet, but yeah, it's okay, it's going. Here we go. So, yeah. So I put this extra loop in here to stop it. If it fell off my belt, um, it wouldn't completely get lost. Uh, but these, they just seem to come and done really easy bit of a flaw because it's beautiful workmanship in the sheath other than that and it's a lovely knife um, so I just need to sort that out I suppose it's not the end of the world a uh, bit of super glue on there and attach a dangler there probably um, but other than that I think it's a really nice knife it's uh, feathered quite well to get the fire going there we waiting for the water to boil. It's got to boil seven minutes with that scoff in it. Um, uh, so I'm keeping the fire quite little to be honest. Uh, I don't like big fires. They attract attention and because it's not night it's a possibility that the smoke might get seen but I'm in a deep part of the forest so it's unlikely but I like to sort of keep it under control and it's easy to clear up when you uh, come to leave as well. So, I think you're not allowed to stay out overnight in the lockdown, but you're allowed to go out um, for exercise and recreation, and I'm alone. Um, the exercise was walking in here with my rucksack, and I'm just having this brew for an hour, and then I'll be uh, heading home again, so I'm not breaking any lockdown rules. I'm probably one of the safest people in the country, to be honest. Uh, so I don't see anybody. Anyway, hope you're all doing well. These are trying times. And I think sometimes the primitive person in you just wants to get out of the house and be in amongst nature. And it starts driving you a bit crazy if you're not. So there is a mental health aspect to it as well. Um, anyway, I'll monitor this food. I'm not going to do there and do the old thing of taking the first bite and then nodding me head like the bushcraft YouTube thing that happens um, I'll eat me food and then I'll just come back for a clear up um, and give you a lowdown on the knife the plash palacta is really good um, not the biggest thing in the world to be fair if it was raining and windy you wouldn't want to be under it unless you're in a bivy bag put it that way uh, I suppose the Polish lava is better but it's like proper heavy the um, plash palacta I could just stick in my rucksack and it can go anywhere and it's not affected by fire. So that's my main reason because I can put the fire right on the corner of it so it's got a bit of protection from the rain and I'm not worried about the sparks hitting the canvas. Um, anyway, this food looks like it's um, coming on a bit so I'll see you soon. 
smoke in the eyes. Ah! All right there. So, cleaned everywhere up. Um, that's where the shelter was, and that's where the fire was. So it's all back to as it was. Check the heat of the embers underneath. They've all gone cold. Put some water on them and put the moss back over. So nothing left behind. Leave nothing behind. Cheers now.